the art piece that's impacted, impacted me the most is the printout of the cables that WikiLeaks released um, in book form. Um, so all of them are printed out and it's actually um, a criminal act to read them because obviously they're, they're classified and so on. And so I think that act of, of putting, them on, putting them on paper and letting everybody read them is uh, subversive in itself. The thing about Julian is he didn't have to do what he did. He could have led a fairly reasonable, comfortable life. He was an extremely bright person, extremely technically aware and proficient on the cutting edge of technology. He could have done anything he wanted, but he, de he decided to become a lightning rod for all the criticism that was going to come WikiLeaks way for releasing information which the public needs to know about war crimes and about what our government's doing in our name. And I think it's that act of almost self-sacrifice of putting himself in the firing line um, so that the public knows more, which is just so inspiring, but also has become such a tragic tale in the way it's played out. Well, the shocking thing about his case is obviously the fact that the legal system, which we assume treats everybody equally, in, in his case, obviously is influenced by politics and by the interests of very powerful states like the United States of America and the United Kingdom. And you can just see that his case is not, has all the way through, has not been treated in the same way as anybody else's case would have. And he's basically a political prisoner being made um, a political example of. And the law is facilitating that rather than treating him as uh, it would anybody else.